welcome everyone to the community call. Uh, Susana is not uh, here today because she's in Istanbul with the in the IBC summit, uh, part of the Dev Connect week. So Susana and Serda are there. <clears throat> so I will give a bit the, the product update as, as well. Uh, yes, yeah, Serdar uh, has been working uh, with Dimension on an IBC middleware for delaying finalization. I don't have much information here. Uh, I think the idea is that the, this middleware will delay writing the acknowledgement. Um, but yeah, I don't have much more context. I think Serdar uh, knows, knows more about this one. Uh, then Adi opened um, a discussion uh, in, the, in the IBC Go repo, uh, yeah, asking for feedback from the community um, to see which, which other chains and roll-up frameworks we should uh, prioritize uh, integrating with. Um, yeah, uh, we have identified a number of, of chains and frameworks that we could uh, integrate, but we would like to hear the opinion from the community to to see which ones we should prioritize. At the moment, we're trying to uh, to integrate with uh, OP stack, looking into integrating with OP stack and, and Rollkit. Uh, but yeah, uh, we, should, we would like to know which one, which others the community are interested uh, in. Um, yeah, so here's a link to the discussion before, so feel, feel free to have a look. Uh, yeah, uh, Adi also finished the, the blog post that will go out together with the release of uh, Oh, It Wasn't. Um, yeah, and as I said, Serdar and Susana are both uh, in Istanbul and they gave today talks, I think, both of them in the ABC Summit. So if you are there, uh, also feel free to reach out to them. So that's the updates for the product side. Um, then for engineering and protocol, uh, yeah, we released uh, finally IBC Go V8. That was uh, last Friday. <clears throat> so the tag is is, is there. Um, and now, yeah, we're focusing uh, a lot of our time in Western clients, uh, trying to wrap up that feature as well. <clears throat> we just tagged, um, a beta zero today. Um, um, yeah, we have the feature, um, the, the PR uh, with the feature branch uh, opened uh, and we will merge it probably, yeah, today or tomorrow. We just uh, uh, wrapping it up. Uh, we are, we last, last week we had a call with uh, Simon from Confio uh, who, who took over the, the audit from Ethan Frey. <clears throat> And we were going through his feedback. Um, he had uh, just a, um, yeah, four or five uh, items. Um, and we're addressing those at the moment. Uh, nothing major. Uh, so that was uh, that was a relief. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and yesterday we also had an internal security audit in the team going again through, through the major parts of the code um, and thinking about any possible security risks. Um, yeah, we just identified a, a couple of things that we would like to improve, and we also opened issues uh, and PRs uh, already. Uh, so yeah, bas basically we are like 90, 95% done uh, regarding the code. Um, and what we are blocking blocked at the moment is in uh, the end-to-end -end testing, uh, specifically in one end-to-end -end test that we want to, to have, uh, testing timeouts. Um, yeah, and we are discussing with Composable, and we, we are going to have a call with them next week on Monday uh, to see if we can have um, a grandpa contract and a relayer uh, that we can use in our end-to-end -end test to, to finish that one. Yeah, and then once that once that's done, uh, yeah, we can probably tag the first RC. Uh, we will back, backport the, the, feature, uh, the feature branch to the to the release lines, uh, we, we're gonna have releases compatible for IBC Go 7.3 and uh, V8. Yeah, so so we will cut uh, hopefully the first RC by end of next week. And then, um, yeah, we should be all set to uh, do the final release, uh, yeah, somewhere along the end, end of November. 
Yeah, so that's uh, all it was. Um, and then, uh, yeah, this iteration that we started yesterday, we are starting to pick up um, some um, issues for channel availability. Um, yeah, uh, when we finish uh, WASM, we will have more time. Uh, so we can start um, spending more time on channel gradability and yeah, um, in a couple of weeks, we will do also an internal walkthrough to go through all the code that we have. Um, yeah, uh, we will have issues uh, that we will open from that audit, internal audit, and and we hope to have, uh, yeah, it will be difficult to have a final release before the end of the year, but uh, yeah, we should be able to have a final release beginning of Q1 next year. Um, and then finally, uh, a bit of also, uh, we're spending a bit of time um, uh, yeah, continuing with the work to do some exploratory research, brainstorming sessions uh, with the, uh, yeah, especially with uh, OP labs and the Rocket uh, teams, uh, how to integrate with them, uh, IBC Go. And yeah, looking about looking at uh, what we need to do to generalize uh, IBC Go and decouple it from Cosmos SDK and Comet BFT. Yeah, so I think that's a bit um, the update also from Protocol Engineering. Any any questions so far for any of these things? Okay, if not, uh, we can continue. Thank you, Luca and Justin, for filling updates. So, Luca, if you would like to give an update for Hermes. Uh, sure, yeah. So we released a patch for 1.7, the 1.7.1, which has two small uh, optional configuration per chain. So uh, a bit more uh, per chain configuration and a small improvement where we don't necessarily send client updates. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that, uh, we started also working on the on running our tests uh, with, with uh, IBC Go V8. Uh, so we're working on the compatibility changes, mostly due to the new governance uh, proposal for the upgrade chain. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Luca. Um, Justin, any updates? Well, the updates that you would like to share here. Yeah, yeah uh, I think just a few changes since our, our last call. Um, one being that we've added the ability to create new clients with a custom unbonding period. Mm -hmm. um, previously, I think that we had a hard-coded query that was... I think it was querying on bonding period and taking like 85% of it um, for the trusting period for a new client. Um, mm -hmm. Other two changes there are the fine, fine, fine grain control over the log level. I believe before it was really only possible to have an info or a debug log level um, where now you can kind of um, access any of the log levels that are exposed over uh, via Zap, which is the logging library that we use. Um, and then that third one there is a fix for inner chain accounts. We were not properly clearing the um, the stateful caches. Pro um, so when a channel was closed and then reopened, you would see that the channel close confirm was constantly being resent. Um, this fixes that issue. And then that last one there, we have successfully up uh, like got 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 the stable releases for IBC Go V8, SDK 58, Comet, um, ODOT 38 in a branch. And that is just waiting review to be merged into our uh, our main branch right now. Oh, nice. Great. Um, then, then yeah, when, when there's a release of Hermes and Relay uh, that supports IBC Go V8, uh, I can, I can also, I will include it. I will update the release notes to, yeah, to, to, to know to what, what versions uh, can be used together with V8. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This should um, bump the um, minor revision numbers. So I think that would put us at 2.5. Mm -hmm. um, just waiting for review from somebody on my team. 
Cool, great, thank you. All right, thanks. Uh, and that's all the updates. So now we have time for other topics. Um, if anybody has something that would like to discuss or any questions, the floor is open. I don't have the most contacts on this, but I know that there was recently new versions of uh, the async ICQ module, as well as the packet forward middleware that were cut. Um, I know that there was a couple of security vulnerabilities that were um, being handled across the community. So there are new versions of both of those dependencies um, that have been released in the IDC apps repo. Uh, you said uh, uh, async ICQ, and which one was the other one? And, and the packet forward middleware. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Yes. And then additionally, we have been putting a lot of work into interchain tests to support um, coin values greater than the, the in 64. Um, this was needed for Penumbra as well as Ethereum who have larger decimal um, based values. So we're actively working to support non-Cosmos chains and interchain tests. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Nice. Um, thanks, uh, Justin. Yeah. Any other updates from any other teams? Or questions? If not, uh, just a reminder for people to have a look at the discussion in IBC Go. Adi wrote a nice uh, post here, so feel free to have a look and give us uh, feedback. All right, uh, then if nothing else, we can wrap up and see you all in two weeks. Thanks for joining. Take care. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Thank bye. you all. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.